This is sprint four. We'll run the game. And we have spiders and fleas and scorpions. Yeah. Ah, shoot. The spider moves along and it's crazy pan. The scorpion poisons the mushroom. Scorpion poisons the mushroom, like you'll see on the left there. And they respawn after random amounts of time. The flea generates a bunch of mushrooms and checks to see if the number of mushrooms is under a certain amount. Let's see if I know this one. Ah. The flea actually does do the one hit to uh one hit causes it to speed up, one hit causes it to uh or one more causes it to die. Um, the spider just dies on one hit. Oh yeah, that's so weird. The, the flea actually does work, but it's not showing that it works. So I'll be working on that. Uh, centipede still works. Um, there. And then I'm outputting a debug score currently. Um, all right, I think that's all the functionality. So, in the first scene, I'm just initializing the uh, wave manager, which does a lot. I've centralized the spawning for centipedes, spiders, scorpions, fleas. Uh, these are for the random wait times. Um, it's a singleton. It manages the number of centipedes, so it uh, it knows when to generate a new centipede. Um, uses the alarms for the spider and the scorpion, and it uses a callback system for after the spiders die. To its spiders and scorpions and fleas to uh, oh, to start up the alarms and manage any counters or things. So setting a death callback and then this is alarm zero for the alarm zero. Alarm zero spawns a spider. Follow that up the chain or down the chain, spawning the spider, does a bunch of math, figures out where it wants to make the spider, and then calls the factory. And that's similar to what I'm doing for all of the bugs. Uh, I've made a simple score manager. Oh, and the wave manager, I think, has. Um, I started an enum for the player, and then the wave manager is storing. The current player. Score manager, score for player one, score for player two, add score to current player, gets the current player from the wave manager, and then adds to that player's score, and then outputs it to the debug screen. Um, I think that's everything. Oh, I didn't get the. Uh, I didn't get the points showing up for the spider, but it does show, or it does do, um, there are differentiated uh, points for it. Defined differently, the different ranges. So if we go to where it's actually used, it's uh, actually gets the distance, figures out which range it's in, and then adds the correct score. But I didn't get the visual.